What's up, math scholars and math haters? This is Mr. W. We're tackling question 16 of the third grade questions that North Carolina released this past school year. We have a farmer who planted five different types of tomatoes and planted 40 of each type, and we're trying to figure out how many tomatoes the farmer planted. So in order to do really well on a problem like this, you'll need to know the basics of translating problems as well as a trick for multiplying that I'm gonna teach us here. We've done a bit with translating before, but I want to highlight that the key word that we're going to use to translate this is each. If we see each or every or even per, like five miles per hour, these are all indicators that we're going to end up multiplying. So that tells me that I'm going to need five times 40. And we'll talk about what to do with this in just a second, but right now I want to look at answer B, because answer B is what we're going to get if we just add our numbers together. North Carolina puts these trick answers in there to try to trip you up, and to try to trap you if you make mistakes. So if I took 40 and 5 and I just added them, that would get me 45, which would get me choice B, and I'd think, oh, cool, I'm done with the problem. But we're not. It's a bit more complicated than that, but not by much. So if we're going to multiply 5 times 40, I'm going to go ahead and set this up vertically. 5 times 40. I'm going to write my 0 over to the side here, because the nice thing about multiplying by tens is that we can actually just ignore this 0 for right now and just stick with 5 times 4 and tack the 0 onto the end once we're done with that. So I'm going to pretend the 0 isn't here, and I'm going to say 5 times 4. Oh, that's 20. So that's 20, and now I'm going to take my 0 and just bring it back. And this gives me 200, which matches answer choice C.